I'm going to extract fluorescein from a Sharpie highlighter. Now to do this, I'm going to take my pliers and remove the bottom piece. Now the tube that's inside of here contains fluorescein. Now the fluorescein that's inside of this tube is soluble in alcohol. So I have some rubbing alcohol inside of this plastic bottle. I'm going to pour the alcohol down through to extract the fluorescein. Now what I have here is a solution of isopropanol alcohol that's our solvent and within the solvent is the fluorescein. Now I'm going to take the alcohol solution with the dye and I'm going to pour it into this pan. Okay, so first you want it on medium heat. You don't want it too high, you just want it at the right temperature for alcohol to evaporate. So as the alcohol evaporates, the fluorescein is going to, in essence, come out of the solution. Okay, so what you see here, this dark reddish orange liquid is concentrated fluorescein. Now, interesting thing about fluorescein is that it dissolves better in an alkaline solution than just water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add concentrated potassium hydroxide to the fluorescein. I'm going to stir this around I'm going to remove any contaminants from the fluorescein. Okay, so fluorescein belongs to the xanthine class and is the most common fluorescent dye. It was first synthesized in 1871 by Adolf von Bayer. Now, fluorescein is made chemically from two chemicals. The first one is phthalic anhydride, and the second is resinol. In this case, I showed you how to extract fluorescein from highlighter pens. Now let's head to the whiteboard. I'm working with fluorescein in the laboratory. Now, fluorescein is an organic compound and dye. It is a dark orange-red liquid, slightly soluble in water, H2O, and alcohol. It is used as a fluorescent tracer. Now as a molecule, fluorescein looks like this. Written out chemically, the formula of fluorescein 
is C20, H12, O5. Showing that there is 20 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 5 oxygen atoms. It's quite a big molecule. Now the fluorescence of this molecule is very intense. The peak excitation occurs at 494, 494 nanometers. And the peak emission at 521 nanometers, or 521 nanometers. The fluorescence of fluorescein. Now fluorescein fluoresces in the presence of ultraviolet light, okay? Now, when I add the fluorescein to some water, it's going to dissolve in the water slightly, and it's going to give a yellow-green color while the ultraviolet light hits and penetrates the fluorescein. Let's head to the laboratory and let me demonstrate that. An interesting property of fluorescein is that fluorescein by itself is not very fluorescent. Now knowing that concentrated solution here of fluorescein does not fluoresce under a black light, I'm going to add some of it to water. Let's see what happens. Okay, so in this separary funnel, I'm going to add some water. This is well over 500 milliliters of water. Now from here, I'm going to add the fluorescein to the water. I'm going to activate some ultraviolet light. I'm going to extinguish the lights. And I'm going to add the fluorescein to the water. Oh, I have demonstrated how to extract fluorescein from highlighter pens. When fluorescein is added to water, an ultraviolet light touches this special molecule, penetrates the molecule. It glows. And as always, thanks for watching.